Alright, first off, I want to say Kal Halal Yom Lak, Yehovah, Ba'ashem, Yehoshai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash, the Ba'anas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways and just working out sincerity, and in all honesty, the sisters, the believers, the help, Shalom. This is your brother, Yehoshua, once again, um, with another lesson on protest rages from um, Barcelona to Hong Kong, and with this video we just want to show you another point of prophecy you understand me what's really going on in the world you understand because um a lot of riot and a lot of people standing up against the government is happening but you don't really hear it in the news you don't really hear about these things happening in rome paris um over in europe um china in haiti yeah, they have riots going on in Haiti. You get me? And um, all these things get spoken in, in, in scriptures, was, was, was prophesied. You understand me? And before I get into the scriptures, I just want to get another little video here for, for show you what's going on. Around the world, people are taking to the streets and protesting their governments in hopes that they will bring about change. Now, to start this afternoon, we wanted to take you through some of the major protests that have been shaking the globe, but often don't get enough media attention. RT's Rachel Blevins is joining me now to break down all the details. Rachel, what can you tell us about these protests and the people who are taking to the streets? Well, Scotty, we continue to see an increased level of unrest around the world as citizens take part in protests against their government policies. Now let's start in Spain where thousands of protesters have taken to the streets in multiple cities after Spain's Supreme Court sentenced nine Catalan separatist leaders to between nine and 13 years in prison for their roles in a failed independence bid back in 2017. Now while the court acquitted the leaders of the charges of violent rebellion, they were convicted of charges that include sedition, misuse of public funds, and disobedience. Nearly 40 people have been injured in the protests that are still ongoing right now and police were seen in full riot gear as crowds gathered at Barcelona's international airport. In addition to impacting more than 100 flights on Monday, the protest sparked at least 45 flight cancellations on Tuesday. Then in Ecuador, nearly two weeks of massive protests could be reaching an end after the Ecuadorian government reached a deal with indigenous leaders. Now thousands were seen rejoicing in the streets in the country's capital after President Moreno agreed to cancel an austerity package that cut fuel subsidies and sent prices soaring, sparking violent protests that left seven people dead and more than 1,300 injured. Following the deal, members of the indigenous community were seen engaging in cleanup efforts after they called off future demonstrations and road blockades. Meanwhile, in Haiti, a fifth week of protest is underway as tens of thousands of citizens take to the streets calling for the country's president to resign. Now, allegations of corruption Corruption among Haiti's government officials has grown in the country as it battles inflation and residents suffer from fuel and food shortages. Now the violent demonstrations have left nearly 20 people dead and nearly 200 injured. Hundreds of businesses have been forced to close and an estimated 2 million students have been prevented from going to school. So Scotty, these are just a few of the protests that we've seen around the world, but they really do show that people have power whenever they gather together together in a mass amount to speak about out about something they believe in. And Rachel, protests are nothing new to the world. However, I think it's the number and the reasons and what unites them that makes this so interesting. Thank you so much, Rachel, for covering. Thank you. Now to another major protest that we've been following for months. RT's Michelle Greenstein is on the ground in Hong Kong and brings us the latest. On Tuesday, Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam spoke to the press, condemning the recent attacks by protesters on the Hong Kong police and explaining her recent statement that it's not feasible at the moment for Hong Kong to have a public debate on universal suffrage. She thinks this would send the wrong message. Take a listen. I have said on many occasions that uh, violence will not give us the, pro the solution. Violence will only breed more violence. So for um, concessions to be made simply because of escalating violence will only make the situation worse. On the other hand, we should consider every means to end the violence. 
Now, although according to Lam, the issue of universal suffrage is not on the table at the moment, she did, however, address the issue of housing and land supply, which she calls the single most important issue that a chief executive should be addressing. She says that in her 2019 policy address, housing is going to come under a new spotlight. Now, I spoke with the president of the largest labor organization here in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong Federation of Trade Unions, which significantly is against the current anti-government protest movement, but does, however, see how Housing is one of the most critical issues facing the average Hong Konger right now. Take a listen. Housing in Hong Kong is a big problem. There isn't enough land, and there are more than 10,000 people who are qualified, yet still waiting for public housing. The waiting period is very long, especially for young people. Now, housing is where Hong Kong's inequality becomes most apparent. Nearly 45% of residents live in either public housing or subsidized housing, and over 200,000 Hong Kong residents live in what the Society for Community Organization here in Hong Kong calls inadequate housing, like the video you're looking at right now. I spoke with a former high-ranking government official who says that the Hong Kong government is not doing enough to address the widening wealth gap, and that to a vast majority of Hong Kongers, it's housing and other social inequities that are of critical importance. Take a listen. Many protesters are the young people. They are angry about the society. The rich people can get more, and the young people can get nothing. And the price of uh, housing going up very, uh, very fast, that means the, 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 uh, the, the rich people get more and more. The, the distribution of resources is unfair. So the young people are angry about, about this. This is the fundamental problem. Mm. This is the root problem. So at this moment, we have the issue about the bills. And then all the young people, their anger, their anxiety, their pressure. Now, because of Hong Kong's special autonomous status, which was guaranteed by the handover terms when Britain returned Hong Kong back to China in the 90s, Hong Kong is very market driven. And a vast majority of the low wage workers here are not seeing the fruits of Hong Kong's economic growth. In fact, the wealth of just 21 tycoons is equivalent to the total available fiscal reserves of the entire Hong Kong government. Now, the minimum wage has not kept up with increases in inflation. In fact, the current minimum wage is equivalent to about five U.S. dollars here in Hong Kong, and privatization often runs unchecked. One in five people live in poverty here in Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is the most expensive place to live, which also means that it's the least affordable. And the people on the streets today during this anti-government movement are not immune to these underlying conditions for social unrest. For Newsviews Hughes in Hong Kong, Michelle Greenstein, RT. It's hard to clear through the debris and get right down to the nitty gritty that is. So, in another video, they show you the different, the different um, protests, the different government crisis. It's it's more or less always government versus the people. You understand me? In most cases, um, some something, some law, some 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 austerity measure, some something always have a separation between the people and the government and a lot of times people don't realize that these same things were prophesied in the scriptures you understand me let's get into that this is um matthew 24 yeah matthew 24 verse 3 and he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world and yahweh shai answered which Moang, make sure so you may get this point clear across the name of the, the heavenly father is yahweh and the name of the son is yahweh shai is it me that's a hebrew word not jesus not yahweh not yashua is it me it's actually yahweh the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the Son. You understand me? <clears throat> so it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Salakia. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, which a lot of times, a lot of times you have people come and say they're, they're, the, they're the second messiah, 
you know we'll have cases like that where people come from 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 um different parts of the world and say the mother must say and live in a some nice lavish place where and the people where they might take from live in a some some board house and i say yo boy them wish them could have this and that you have videos like that yo you get me um for many shall come in my name saying i am the christ and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars a lot of times you have um upcoming crisis between syria um iran europe um us russia china you always have some tension between um mostly the eastern side of the world always have some 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 problem you understand me and you have these riots going on you understand and you say yo Mustafa back at verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom for example um america and china them of them whole trade war going on right now you understand me you have um europe versus syria where a beer a beer back and forth with with regarding the oil and who are take who for um oil truck who are thief who for oil um america and and and, and the east where, where america have been set up you have bombing a guan yeah you have a lot of things going on in these in these parts you understand me and a lot of times these type of information don't come out especially to the western side it's mostly in the east and a lot of people don't know these things and how it, it ties into prophecy you understand me a lot of times people live them everyday life but then you go to you go to your phone through your social media you see the latest dance who they are dance are wind up wind up who climb up on this uh, a lot of times these things are the type of things that are happening you understand me with people clueless to the to the actual things happening in this society you understand me verse 7 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places all these things all all these are the beginning of sorrow you get me so we might not have to go in any further about that at the point yo you see all of these things that are happening are part of prophecy if you sure say yo look the time we are living now best believe me the most high send him son for come back and deliver his people soon and very soon you understand me let me see if we can get um see if we can get another precept on this so like, yeah. uh. and the second is just nine and one yeah second is just nine verse one he answered and he answered me then and said measure though the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass which i have told thee before which what was that time isn't it <clears throat> when ezra i get the the the, the ezra i get the vision from the angel yo you get me all of these things over there speak about in a matthew a lot of them are these signs yo a lot of times when i tell people say yo we not have much time left don't think you're gonna say 10 years um not even five years 10 years 15 years 20 years would not have them time you're left in this society yo you understand me things are are quickly are speedily wrapping up you understand um and when thou seest part of the signs pass which i have told thee before then thou shall understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will, vi will begin to visit the world which he made therefore when thou shalt see when thou sh yeah when thou shalt um, be seen earthquakes 
and uproars of the people in the world uproars of the people in the world what that riots people have gone against some government people are complaining people you seen on the video what happened and best believe me every day an earthquake go on if i not if i not more than five almost ten every single day take my stupid advice either a major earthquake or a minor earthquake but almost every day and it's a part of prophecy will come out here for, for, for one and, and prophesy to you people and show you that these things are happening. Don't feast to them not happen. You understand? Wherein the highest will, vi- will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou see, when thou shalt um, that first four my sad. Yeah. Then thou shalt, then thou will understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning you get me because when yahusha speak on um mount of olive uh, almost over over tw- um 2000 years ago if i'm not mistaken and them time there you wouldn't guess are people that think they are oh, uh, foolish in some attack? How them some your farm, and 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 um, with 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 not even s- like certain things back then, people would laugh, and I say, oh, none of that now happen. Like 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 old people always say, God not coming at my time. You get me? God not coming at my time, and they live a long, happy life. Sometimes it's coming, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be like that. You see me? It's not. And in these days, we are sure you say all the time, swiftly are, are come to pass. You get me? Things not going to take the next 10, 15 years for you start to see certain things play out and then they start open your eyes. Things are going to start happening rapidly. And this will come out here for one new people. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to say, Kal Halal Yimla, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rakaa Kodash, Daba Anas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways in this work, in our sincerity and in our honesty, the sisters, the believers, the helps, Shalom.